welcome to this special Valentine's Day edition of The Business of Story. John! I'm your host, Marcia Park Howell. And we're here for the love of story. John! Oh, and it's also my birthday. Marcia. But I have a gift for you to help you romance your customers. John? It's our new ABTs of Branding online course. Marcia. Yeah, probably caught you a little flat-footed. But... John! When you use it, well... Marcia. You'll become irresistible to your customers. John! You know why? Marcia. Because the ABT embraces... John! The three forces of story, starting with agreement. Marcia. Followed by contradiction and consequence. John! so that you can caress mm-hmm. that primal cause and effect limbic brain. John. Where all of our real buying decisions Marcia. are being made. Oh, John. Marsha. John, Marsha. But that's not all. Because on today's show, Marcia. we'll be covering why the ABT <laughs> John is the start of all powerful business storytelling. <laughs> Marcia. And why you can throw out those complicated story frameworks like the hero's journey and Pixar way. Marcia. And just focus on these three words. And, but. Oh, Marcia, Marcia. Therefore. John, John. Plus. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. We're going to throw in the five primal elements. John, John, John. Of a short story. Marsha, 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 Marsha. To make a big impact. John, 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 John. Marsha. Turning your prospects to lifelong brand loving. John. Customers. All that and more. Marsha. Right now in this special Valentine's Day edition of the Business of Story. Well, that was fun. That was Stan Freeberg's 1951 comedy hit, John and Marcia, where he was making fun of soap operas at the time. I just thought that might be a fun way to kick off today's show. And by the way, I'm so glad you're here with me. Um, No guests today, just me. In fact, you are my guest because my hope is to be able to take you through my three storytelling frameworks fairly quickly with a real focus on the end button, therefore, and teach you how to use it in this show. Um, We'll talk a little bit more about my ABTs of branding course and how you can take advantage of that for absolutely free. I will give you a promo code at the end of this show that is only good for this week. So that's the benefit of downloading and listening to the business of story right away. Um, And then we're going to talk about the five primal elements of a short story for big impact. And I know you heard in that intro about me talking about the complexity of the hero's journey and the Pixar way and the seven step this and the ninth step that. And you're probably saying, but dude, you've got a 10 step story cycle system. And yes, I do. And it's very effective and it's kind of complicated. But you can use it to craft your overall brand story strategy. It has helped companies grow by as much as 600%. It's very effective, but it's like sort of storytelling 303 or 404 or kind of the master's program. That's why everything I am teaching now in my virtual sessions, my mastery courses, my in-person sessions, and my keynotes all begin with the and button there for the ABT I learned it, as you probably know, from my good friend and co-author of the Narrative Gym for Business, Dr. Randy Olson. And I learned about the ABT back in 2013 in his second book called Connection, um, Hollywood Storytelling Meets Critical Thinking or Science, or I can't remember what the exact subhead was of it. But when I saw the ABT and he spelled it out there, that's right, and but therefore, from a brand storytelling standpoint— It hit me right upside the head because my whole world for the last 35 plus years has been about clarifying brand stories to amplify the impact of our customers and to ultimately simplify their lives. Taking the complex and making it simple 
so their customers and their clients and their colleagues and the communities they serve can easily digest the information coming at them and act upon it. And so, yes, in my storytelling world, I started out back in the early 2000s studying the hero's journey, Blake Snyder's 15 story beats, all of these more complex ways. And my job through all of these years has been to boil that down to what Randy showed me, these three words, and, but, therefore. In June of last year, 2021, I launched the very short course, The ABTs of Selling. It's 20 minutes long, three videos of me taking you through those three forces of story, that statement of agreement, your and statement, a contradiction is your but statement, and consequence is your therefore statement. Another way of thinking about it is simply set up problem resolution. Now, if you have a pen handy, here's how you quickly put together an ABT. I promise you at the head of the show, I'm going to teach you this stuff as we go through it. So write them like this. Who is your audience? What do they want? And why is it important to them? But why don't they have it? Therefore, how are you uniquely equipped better than anyone else to help them get it through your product or service offering? That is essentially ABT 101 of setup problem resolution, agreement, contradiction, consequence. You know, you can call it anything you want, act one, act two, act three. Now, here are the three biggest mistakes people make. Number one, they write their ABTs from the brand's perspective. Don't do that. Place your audience at the center of the story by starting that statement of agreement with your audience. What do they want and why is it important to them? Now, this is a statement of agreement. You are not talking about the problem right here. I know a lot of people have taught you, always oh, start with the problem. No, start with what a brighter future looks like tomorrow, what their aspiration is, what it is they want in their life, because then you'll be validating their position. Then you pull the rug out from underneath them, but you want all that great stuff, but you don't have it because of this problem or this problem or this problem. There is where your problem solution dynamic comes in. State the problem. Your therefore is a solution on how you are going to help them get there. Now, that is the structure of my ABTs of selling course, like I mentioned that I launched uh, last June. And I've had all kinds of folks go through it, from the colleagues over at Banner Health to Home Depot to Medela to all kinds of large and small brands alike. Uh, the U.S. Air Force has been through it, um, through some leadership training. But what I hear, the pushback I get, is people say, Park, I'm not in sales, or I've got a bunch of team members that don't really connect with the ABTs of selling because they said they're not in sales. Well, I disagree with you, and I'm not the only one. I had Siobhan Thatcher, head of sales enablement over at Ring Central, on show number 336 late last year. Here's what she had to say about selling. Everybody's a seller. Everybody is. You're all representing your company. Whether or not you're on uh, normal, productive company calls or whether you are talking to your grandmother, you're still selling. Every single part of my day is selling something. My people, my programs, my successes, my ideas. I'm doing that every single day, all day long. And I couldn't agree more. Look, if you were trying to get people to buy into your way of thinking, buy into a new initiative that you want them to adopt, buy into a change effort because it's going to create an opportunity for even greater growth, or even to get your kids to buy into eating their peas, are you not selling? So that's what we did with the ABTs of selling. And that's why I started with that course. And I've had, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, over a thousand people now take it. It's like only 35 bucks, 20 minutes with me, three videos, take you through the and button therefore. But that wasn't enough. I had calls for more, something more specific around both leadership and branding. So I have just launched the ABTs of Branding course. And why this is important, you still use that same exact story structure, setup, problem, res resolution. Like I said, to me, this is the 
gateway drug into business storytelling. It is the easiest three-step process to use. And by the way, it has literally been around since the first recorded story of Gilgamesh. So it's not like this is something we just invented. I mean, you can go back in time. And, and in fact, let me do a little uh, exercise with you right now. All right. What is the very first nursery rhyme that pops to mind now? What was it? One that always hits me is Little Miss Muffet. Why do we remember these nursery rhymes? Because they are perfect and but and therefore structures. For instance, Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Now you might be saying to yourself, Park, you didn't use and but therefore. No, but they are implied. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, and she was eating her curds in whey. That's act one. That's a setup. That's the statement of agreement. Here comes the problem. But along came a spider who sat down beside her. Now our cause and effect pattern-seeking limbic system wants us to close that story loop. It's asking what happens next. Therefore, it frightened Miss Muffet away. Agreement, contradiction, consequence. What was yours? You know, oh gosh, back in late 80s, early 90s, Crown Royal came out with just a marvelous little ad. In fact, I just bought it off of Etsy and I've got a little metal uh, version of it. And they had fun with Jack and Jill. And it says, and it looks like it's embroidered on one of those beautiful purple Crown Royal bags. It says, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. But Jack fell down and broke his crown royal, now Jill is dating some guy from L.A. Anyways, I just thought it was really fun taking advantage of that setup problem resolution dynamic of Jack and Jill. Of course, we all know that nursery rhyme, and they had a lot of great fun with that printed ad, um, some borrowed interest. Just an example of where you can find the and button there for. Lincoln, the Gettysburg Address, is a perfect and but in there for. When I first learned about the ABT from Randy Olson back in 2013, as I mentioned with his book, Connection, I thought, this is really cool, but is it really effective? I mean, is it really a thing? So that's when I started going and searching. And I came across the Gettysburg Address shortly thereafter, and I sent a note to Randy. I said, dude, do you realize that the Gettysburg Address is a perfect and button there for And I'll paraphrase for you, but he basically starts out, we were once a great and mighty nation, but now we're embroiled in a great civil war. Therefore, we here need to work hard to make sure that these men and women did not die in vain. Set up problem resolution. Now, here's the thing that really fascinated me about that. When I studied the Gettysburg Address, I learned that Lincoln was not the keynote speaker that day at Gettysburg. There was a gentleman that went on before him. Do you know who it was? Virtually nobody does. I asked that question in the last seven years. I think five people have got it right. Three of them were sitting in Washington, D.C. at the Kennedy Center when I was doing a big keynote address to visit Washington, D.C., their destination organization there. The guy's name was Edward Everett, a former Secretary of State, self-proclaimed orator, Edward Everett spoke for two hours before Lincoln at Gettysburg, and he is completely lost in history. Lincoln spoke for just two minutes, roughly 272 words in the Gettysburg Address. And the beautiful thing about it is, it is one of the most iconic speeches ever given. Set up problem resolution and but therefore. You see, this has been around forever. And you see it in pop culture. You see it um, in the making of South Park. Uh, Matt Stone and Trey Parker talk about the rule of replacement. And basically their rule is, is if they can replace an and in a script with a button, therefore, it keeps the, the, the story moving forward, propelling it forward. At the very end of this great little clip from their uh, uh, video on YouTube called Six Days to Air, he says, you got a story that does this, 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 but here's the complication to this. And that's the thing that has really stuck with me and hung with me is this, but here is the complication. 
That is why the and, but, and therefore is the best starting point for your business storytelling. Get this down, practice it, and it starts opening up the world of more complex and even more powerful storytelling. Uh, but you just can't miss with the and button, therefore. That's why we now have the ABTs of branding free to you only through this week. And uh, I'll have the promo code for you at the end of the show. But let me show it to you in action. And one of my favorite case studies, which I do cover in the course too, is Andre Martin Hobbs, who is the founder of Prate Auto Partez, Ready Car Go, a used car dealership in Quebec, Canada, whose primary focus is selling a car to a sub prime buyer. Those people who have credit challenges, they can't get a car anywhere else, but they can get it from Andre. And when I tell you that, you're probably thinking, well, those smarmy, you know, used car dealership type folks that just pawn a car off on someone and then go and repo it in a couple of months when they can't afford it anymore. That's what I thought about uh, Ron, uh, Andre's business model too, until I learned more. Here is the ABT that we arrived at for Andre and his company, Pret Auto Partez. It is, you want the freedom of owning your car and the respect that you earn in driving it, but you have bad credits. Therefore, Prate Auto Parties will put you in a car you can actually afford and get you back on the road to financial freedom. Now, that little ABT was what we built and used the entire story cycle system with when we built out their entire brand story, but it all began with that ABT to get us super focused. And that ABT also led to the tagline, which is now famous for them because they have become the fastest growing car dealership in Quebec, Canada, and they are now licensing this model out throughout North America. Here's the tagline that that ABT landed on. Prate Auto Partez, your vehicle to financial freedom. I mean, talking about developing a differentiator in a market and blowing people away with a brand purpose much larger than just selling you a car at the cheapest price, which is all a commodity play. Now they're really driven, pardon my pun, with a complete and clear purpose because they started with that ABT and got focused on their audience, that subprime buyer. What do they want? The freedom of driving their own car. And why is that important for them? to have the self-respect in owning that car, but they got bad credit. Therefore, Andre's going to help get you back on the road to financial freedom, your vehicle to financial freedom. Here he is in show number 235 on the business of story, talking about the power of this process and what it's meant to his business, to his people, and to his customers. If you want to hear how the whole story cycle came together, then definitely listen to show number 235 with Andre Martin Hobbs. We walk through the 10-step process. But for right now, I want you to just focus on their and button. Therefore, here's what it's meant to him. In Quebec, there are, you know, thousands of car dealerships, new, used, prime, non-prime, whatever. There are thousands. We're the only one that can actually stand up and say, this is our brand purpose. When you really think about it, whether you're into the car industry or anywhere else, your purpose is way bigger than just describing your product and your activity. You know, to empower that within a car dealership takes a vision. It takes culture. It, it takes everything. And we didn't have anything like that before. So it was created when we work together part. So, you know, this is what I had to say here, but it's very, uh, very important for me to, uh, to voice that. We are now largest in Quebec. I know as a fact that there's no other similar companies in the rest of Canada. There are some players in our field, obviously, but no one has a story like we have and no one has a brand as strong as we have. And that carries, uh, you know, our clients, and it carries us and our suppliers. 
So it's important to understand that going through the process and park, uh, I'd love to have an interest, uh, you know, a, a commission if you have clients coming. To me. <laughs> uh, You're always selling. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, it, it, it works. God, I just love having happy clients like that and having that kind of impact in someone's business and someone's life and on those that, you know, people work for them. So that's what I'm trying to do with this ABTs of branding course is to make it available to as many people as I can. It's all of $35. So it's a very small investment. Again, you can take it for free if you act very quickly. If you've downloaded this show and you're listening to it right away, if you're listening to it a week down the road, sorry, you're out of luck. But it's still only 35 bucks, and you can find it over at businessofstory.thinkific.com. And as I promised, I'm walking you through how to do this. So here's the next exercise as you are uh, writing out your ABTs. Number one, you are not the center of the story. We've already talked about that. Place your customer at the center of your ABT. Number two, do not start with the problem. Start with that statement of agreement of what's in it for them and what it is they want down the road and why that's important to them. Then you introduce the problem. Number three, your brand story and your ABTs are not about what you make, but about what you make happen. So don't talk about your fabulous product or service or data or tech. You're not going to sell them on the logic and the reason behind why you are the best. You are going to sell them on outcomes. What do you make happen in their life? So the therefore is your outcome statement. Here's why you are here for them and do it better than anybody else so that they can get what they want on their journey. And as you, if you're a longtime listener, you've heard me say this all the time, help people get what they want and they will go out of their way to help you get what you want out of life. So that's our quick little look at the and button. Therefore, I hope you go over and check it out. I had mentioned the Narrative Gym for Business. That's the book that Randy and I wrote. Um, he first wrote the Narrative Gym in what, I think it was May of 2020. We were doing a whole ton of work with scientists during COVID. And uh, between Randy and I and a group of about 12 other people, we have spent over 300 hours working, teaching the ABT to scientists on how to communicate during COVID. Um, he wrote the Narrative Gym, and that came out and was really science-based. I, in all these years that I've known him, have translated the ABT over to the business world, and I said, Randy, we really need a book for the business world, something that has business-specific examples and case studies in it. He agreed, so we rewrote it. It's the second book in the series called The Narrative Gym for Business, and we filled it full of business examples and case studies so it would really resonate with any business leader, whether you are branding, whether you're in sales, marketing, HR. It's, like I said, the entry drug, the gateway drug to better business storytelling, and it all starts right there. Well, we've got a third and now a fourth book in the series. The Narrative Gym for Law was written for, uh, by my good friend Doug Passon, who is a defense attorney in Scottsdale, Arizona. It just came out at the end of the year, and you can hear Doug and I talk about it on show number 341 on the business of story. And it's really fascinating of how you use the ABT to really get a judge and jury to see things your way. I mean, Doug has been very famous in creating sentence mitigation videos. These are videos made that tell the story of someone who has been convicted, but maybe the book has been thrown at them unduly harsh. And so they create these sentence mitigation videos. Doug has become internationally famous for this and, sh and uh, share the story, share the biography, the background, the documentary of this person and all the mitigating circumstances that come into play. Anyways, uh, he is a big time storyteller and is now using the ABT to great effect in law. And you can check out his work in the narrative gym for law. Here's a quick clip from our show, number 341 with Doug Passan, when he talks about the Miranda rights, which we all know, and how they are non-narrative. And because they're non-narrative, they go in one ear and out the other. 
Is that what's happening with your brand story, potentially? So take a quick listen to this. The idea is, is how the ABT is about the problem solution dynamic, solving problems. And, and I was thinking about what are, what's one of the biggest problems I face in my job as a criminal defense lawyer. And that is, even though we have Miranda, and even though the police are obligated to inform people that they have a right not to talk, they always talk. They always talk every single time. And then it hit me. What is Miranda? Miranda is non-narrative. So if you talk about narrative being persuasive, then ob the obvious corollary is non-narrative is unpersuasive, right? And it's all and material. And if you look at the Miranda rights, you have the right to remain silent and you have the right to a lawyer. And you, if you choose to speak to police, you, th th those can be used against you. And, you know, if you can't afford a lawyer, when we appoint you, and, 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 period. And we know that when we speak just in non-narrative, which is the and land, if you will, it, it tends to go in one ear and out the other. And I think that's exactly what's happening. So we posit this scenario. What if the police did the Miranda rights in ABT form? How would that go? Because it's certainly more persuasive and it's you have the right to remain silent and the right to a lawyer. But if you choose to speak to the police, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Therefore, you shouldn't speak to law enforcement without first talking to a lawyer. Can you feel the impact of the ABT in that particular scenario. Now, lawyers got to use it not only in the court and out of the court, they use it to build their business, their own brand. They use it in negotiations. They use it in every different aspect of communicating their job. That's the ubiquity of the ABT I've experienced. There is now a fourth book out in this series, The Narrative Gym for Politics, written by a very renowned a Politico and writer, Dave Gold, who co-authored it with Randy Olson. I'm hoping to get them on the show here in the not-too-distant future. So we've got all four of the books. I've got two of these online programs ready for you right now, the ABTs of Selling and the ABTs of Branding. Uh, by the time you hear this, I'll probably have my third up, and that is the ABTs of Leadership. Again, I get pushback when people said, I'm not in sales, I'm a leader. Well, you are in sales, as we identified earlier, but uh, that will be available imminently. And by the time you're listening to this show, if you're after that week of Valentine's Day week, uh, then the ABTs of leadership will be up and running. So... I've given you a lot of background on the ABT and how to use it, and you can actually go and apply it right now. What next? And what I like to teach is, again, I learned this stuff exactly backwards. I went from the complex hero's journey, Blake Snyder's 15 steps, the Pixar way that incorporates eight or nine or 10 steps, boiled it down to my 10-step story cycle system, which is really a roadmap in crafting an overall brand story strategy. But I also learned about the five primal elements of a short story, which to me is an expanded ABT. And I got these five primal elements from Sean Callahan out at Anecdote in Melbourne, Australia. So I'd like to give a tip of the cap to Sean and Mark and his crew out there because they are doing some really terrific work in storytelling in business. But I basically saw, oh, this is how you can take a short story and have a really big impact. An anecdote, right? So a story you can tell in under one minute. The way I coach this is to first learn and understand that ABT, get that down. Who's your audience? What do they want? And why is it important to them? But here's the problem we're solving for today, and therefore, here is our solution. For instance, let me give you an example. That's now when you jump into the five primal elements of a short story which is really just an expanded ABT. You start with a timestamp. When did this little anecdote occur? That helps trigger the brain saying, oh, something must have happened. I better pay attention since we're starting at a time and a place. You have a location stamp. Where did this go down? Again, stories are temporal. They're, there's, they're about time. So it triggers that limbic system to set up and pay attention. 
Then you introduced one single character because it's all about the singular narrative about one individual. Now, that individual could be a proxy to a much bigger group or a much bigger company or organization, but you're always talking about one person. Then you have action, surprise, and this outcome that makes your business point for you. So if you've got a sales presentation coming up or you're going to do some brand work, you come in, you set the stage with a real quick ABT that you can say in under 15 seconds. And then, for instance, you launch into telling an anecdotal story. So let me give you an example. I just pulled up my book, Brand Bewitchery, How to Wield the Story Cycle System to Craft Spellbinding Stories for Your Brand. This was my first book. It's essentially my textbook on using the 10-step story cycle system to craft your brand story, just like Andre did at Prate Auto Partez, all beginning with the ABT. Um, in it, when I go through and I pull out my different personality and character traits of my brand, one of them, of course, probably very obviously, is connection. When you tell a story, you can really connect with that audience, that person sitting across from you, and invite them into your world. Invite them into seeing the things the way you see and to demonstrate to them how it's actually a benefit to them to come along on your journey. So I am going to share the story. I'm just going to read it right from the book. This is my good friend, Jennifer Russo. And by the way, she is on show number 161, how we use the story cycle system in the ABT to really focus her brand as she was out looking to get a new position. She has since, and for several years now, been the director of corporate communications and HR communications at uh, the very large Banner Health Network and is doing just an amazing job, especially through COVID there. But she was looking for just that perfect job and came to me and said, Park, I need help. She was leading with her resume. She was leading with logic and reason as to why people should hire her. But what she was not using was the emotional pull of her own personal story. So let me jump into it. Listen for the timestamp, location stamp, central character, action surprise that makes a business point for me about Stories Connect. In early June 2018, Jennifer Russo called me to discuss some job opportunities. She had spent 15 years as an international marketing communications executive for Rio Tinto Mining. But now she was leaving her position to spend more time with her two young boys. As a single mom, she still needed a full-time job, but one involving less travel. When I asked her what kind of position she was looking for, she mentioned a high-level job where she could work with a multinational company and use her communication skills right here in Phoenix, and maybe something in diversity and inclusion, she said. Well, I said, you have an amazing background, but I think your job search criteria are too vague. I could tell a bit of coaching was in order, so I encouraged her to clarify her personal brand story, to amplify her impact, and simplify her life. Because you don't want to spend the next 15 years the prime of your business life in another job that doesn't play to your curiosity and passion, I mentioned. As her brand marketing agency of record for five years, I experienced the energy and positive attitude Jennifer brought to all of her work relationships. She was too close to her own attributes to appreciate them. So I suggested that she excavate her personal brand story by filling out the DIY brand story strategy workbook, which also begins with an ABT. When she was finished, Jennifer sent it to me so I could help her refine her story. Clarifying her story was important to define the position she was looking for, which would attract the right opportunities and save her time from chasing the wrong gigs. I suggested that her unique personal brand position in the market of corporate communications professionals is as the, quote, kinetic communicator, unquote, with an energy that attracts professionals of diverse thinking and backgrounds to help people and organizations outperform in the market. Jennifer minds that untapped capital in a company's collective diversity. Her personal brand story now connects her to her authentic offering as the kinetic communicator, and it has helped connect her with the right kinds of job opportunities to help companies connect with their people through diversity and inclusion initiatives. 
As of this writing, Jennifer is Director of Corporate Communications for Banner Health, and she loves her position and is making a difference. You can experience Jennifer's story at jenniferrusso.me. So I share that with you because if I'm sitting in front of a room and I'm saying, look, I'm going to do a presentation, I'm going to start with an ABT, is you are an executive who communicates and cares, but you're not connecting because you're leading with logic and reason when what your audience wants is the emotional pull of a story. Therefore, use the and but therefore and the five primal elements of story to hack through the noise and hook the hearts of your customers. For instance, let me tell you about Jennifer Russo. Boom, and then I jump right into that five-part story. Time stamp, location stamp, central character. Jennifer is here. Action. The surprise outcome of that action is where we landed on our kinetic communicator singular brand story narrative and then how she shared it with the world. While she was struggling for four or five months to get the right interviews for the right kinds of jobs, Jennifer had like three job offers within two months of sharing that story with the world. It's like a tractor beam. It just says, here's who I am, here's what I stand for, and here's what I can do for you. And so that's just, to me, is one of my favorite examples of it. You can, again, hear her entire story on show number 161, titled How to Bring Clarity and Energy to Your Personal Brand Story. So we've covered a heck of a lot today. I'm not going to go into the story cycle system. That is a whole other show. I hope you enjoyed what you heard here. And here's the deal. If you would like to get in on the ABTs of Branding online course, it's at businessofstory.thinkific.com or go through businessofstory.com and we'll link you over there or go to the show notes here and I'll have a link in there. Between now and the end of Sunday, February 20th, 2022, you can take the ABTs of Branding for absolutely free. All I want you to do is use promo code V day A B T. That's V D A Y A B T. That'll get you in for free. You'll save your 35 bucks. You could take the course. It'll be short, sweet, to the point. Send me your ABT when you got it for your brand story. I'd love to see it. And I can share some thoughts via email with you. And if you liked what you heard on today's show, Please share it with other folks out there. If you got some other folks that you know that think could use the ABTs of branding and or the ABTs of selling, which that promo code will not work on, um, send them over to businessofstory.thinkific.com or just to my website, businessofstory.com. Would love to see how your ABTs and your singular brand narrative come together. And I'll especially be eager to hear how it makes the impact you are looking for. Clarify your story, amplify your impact, simplify your life. Now, I would like to go out with one last Valentine's Day gift for you. It's a song I wrote for our kids when they were little, especially our boys, Caden and Parker. Uh, We were collecting ants, putting them in buckets. They were red ants and they were black ants, and they were just having fun sitting out on their butts in the uh, front yard and the driveway doing all that stuff until the ants, of course, the red and black, started getting into it and fighting. They kind of had this, wow, I didn't realize that we created all this havoc there. And then there was this outcome. There was this learning experience for them. And when I was watching that going on, I sat down at this little upright piano, and this was a long time ago. This might have been 20 years ago, and wrote this little tune. And I just got a new Yamaha keyboard here hooked up to GarageBand, so I thought, well, I'm going to absolutely capture this little tune and at some point share it in a show. And I can't think of a better show than this Valentine's Day special for 2022. So here's my song for you. It's called Bugs and Boys. And as you're listening to it, see if you can hear the and. And then where the but comes in, into act two, where the drama really picks up. And then the therefore, the learning experience at the very end. Hopefully you're going to hear the and button, therefore, right in this little ditty. Thank you so much for listening. And until next week, remember that the most potent story you'll ever tell is the story you tell yourself. So make it a great one. 
Here's Bugs and Boys. <laughs> 